John Lutz here of Lutz Archery Adventures. Serious testing, successful hunting. Today I'm going to be testing another really cool head by Crimson Talon. Now, like I've said in some of the other videos when I've tested their stuff, this isn't the same Crimson Talon that you know of from many years ago, but they were recently reacquired, repurchased by a guy named Dave, and he's become a buddy of mine, and he's just been designing and creating some really cool things in the industry. His whole passion is to figure out a way to make super high quality broadheads at a super budget friendly price. And I'm really grateful for that. That's what he did last year with a single bevel head he came out with called the Cleaver. And if you haven't seen that video, check out that video here on my channel. I also uh, used it in a hunt, performed extremely well. But now he's come out with a new lineup called the Croc. C-R-O-C, the Croc. And it comes out in a 200 grain, 150 grain, and 125 grain model. Today I'm gonna to be testing the heavier one, the 200 grain. So 200 grain, single bevel, two blade head, with a really wide cut, a one and a half inch cutting diameter, okay? What's not to love about that? So for this test, I'm gonna be uh, using my process for 2023. You can read about it in the description box right below this video, or you can check out the video that I did earlier this year explaining the process. It's just called 2023 Broadhead Test Process. I explain all the tests and why I do them, what they mean, and so forth. So you can check that out, and I'm gonna be using my Bowtech CP28, set it 72 pounds using Bishop FOC King arrows for most of the shooting and then Bishop Fad Eliminators for the really hard impact shots. All right, let's zoom on in here and check out this Croc 200 grain, go through some of the design features and specifications and then see how it performs. Here's a good look at the Croc 200 grain. What a nice looking broadhead right here. Really simple, straightforward design. Uh, but very well done. So first of all, the materials. In the ferrule here, you've got a 1085 steel. For their 200 grain and their 150 grain model, which I'll do another video on that, uh, they use a steel ferrule like that. So a 1085 steel ferrule. And then, uh, and then with the blades, you've got a CR12 MOV tool steel brought to a Rockwell hardness of 58. So really a good steel with a really nice Rockwell hardness there. That's encouraging to hear that. On this 200 grain model, it's uh, it's 0.079 inches thick. So wow, I mean that's a nice thick blade. The cutting diameter, it's listed as an inch and a half. Uh, my measurement came out slightly less than that, like 1.42 inches or something like that. So just a little bit under one and a half inches, but still a nice wide cut. And the overall length, as you can see, is super short. It's sub one inch. So that's really nice. It's just going to uh, minimize surface area. That's what this design, it looks really, you know, boxy in some ways like this triangle, but it's to maximize the cutting diameter and minimize the surface area to, uh, to aid in penetration, rotation, as well as flight. So uh, you can see it's also single bevel sharpened, sharpened on all sides like that. And the bevel angle is 32 degrees. And they like that angle just to maximize the sharpness, uh, the rotation, and the durability. You know, the higher you get, you get up to like 40, uh, that's, that's going to even be better for edge uh, integrity, for preventing chatter, and for rotation. But a, a higher bevel, like a 40 degree bevel, degree bevel, won't feel as sharp. So they've settled on 32. And I really like the way it's just simple. It's just got one edge going there one edge going there, and then the tip. They, they didn't mess around with a tanto tip or anything like that. Uh, just very simple. That's gonna make it really easy to resharpen. Just lay it flat and boom, boom, you're good to go. The Stay Sharp Guide has a sharpener for a 32 degree bevel like that. I think that would work really well on this one. So pretty cool looking design there, great materials. Really eager to see how it performs. It took 175 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is a 10 on a 10 point scale.
it penetrated eight inches. It took no additional force to cut through the wire, which gives it a 10 on a 10 point scale. It penetrated through 58 layers. It rotated 25 degrees at 13 inches. It's in perfect condition after the three shots suit the MDF. And after the two shots through the steel plate, it's still in near perfect condition, just some cosmetic scratching, but the edge is held up extremely well. And these holes are really nice. Okay, you get that nice, about one and a half inch wide hole with a classic S cut from that rotation. Here it is after going through all the durability testing, the MDF three times, the steel plate two times, and then sticking into the concrete. And as you can see, it held together very well. The edges are perfectly intact. The tip has not curled a bit. There's no edge chatter and it spins perfectly well. So what'd you think? Wow, what a good head. Man, this broadhead, gosh, the, the, the flight, the penetration, the durability, the sharpness, the edge retention, the edge integrity, the lack of chatter, the thickness, kind of everything about it at this price, it's, it's just honestly, it's pretty unbelievable, okay? This is outperforming a lot of heads I've tested that, that cost, I mean, way, way more. The list price of these is like 30 bucks for three. But if you use my discount code, Dave even gave me a discount code, the owner gave me a discount code. Use my discount code LUSK15 when you, when you uh, make an order, then you save 15%. So this head, 200 grain, comes out to $8.50 per head. That's just unbelievable at the performance level that it's, it's performing at. I mean, really exceptional. So check out the score sheet, see how it did in the areas that matter to you the most, and uh, see if it might be a good fit for you. But I say, man, excellent job, Crimson Talon. Keep up the great work.